Welcome to the 91st annual Nebraska State FFA convention that is underway here at the Pinnacle Bank Arena, downtown Lincoln. And what a beautiful, not only facility for these kids to be at, but just downtown Lincoln. It was neat yesterday to be able to see all these kids wandering around. I'm Susan Littlefield, by the way, along with Bryce Duskett here inside Pinnacle Bank Arena. Day number two. Hard to believe we're already rocking and rolling this far, Susan. It is crazy. And you know, the, the blue jackets that you see just gets people excited. And I, I talked to an older gentleman this morning that said, you know, I remember when I was in FFA and girls weren't allowed and we had one girl and she wore a white jacket. He goes, can you imagine? He's like, tell me the story about keeping the white sweetheart jacket. And he, and then he looked at me and he kind of grinned. He goes, and the best thing this organization ever did was let girls in. So that was kind of cool to hear him reminisce about when he was back in the day. And in a moment, we'll hear from one of the female state FFA officers, actually five, uh, the f four females this year and two boys. So interesting to see how those times have changed, certainly. But uh, yesterday, we saw the first session and a lot of excitement right behind us here in PBA. What? It was amazing. I mean, there was an, hardly an open seat taking place as the kids came in. They funneled in with their chapters and sat with their chapters, screaming and hollering as each one of the state officers were announced. And then, of course, all the different folks that were coming across the stage. The excitement and the adrenaline is just carrying over into day number two. As we are here this morning, we are moments away, or about a half hour, I should say, away from uh, getting underway with the second general session here of the Nebraska FFA convention. But let's welcome in this morning's special guest. That would be uh, Nebraska FFA State Vice President Brooke Bell from the David City FFA chapter originally. And Brooke, as you look at everything going on here, how did it feel yesterday to, after all this practice, be in Pinnacle Bank Arena and actually run in for the first time? You know, there's a lot of emotions, um, but the biggest one is excitement. It's a ton of excitement to be able to see the members come back and um, all the hard work that they've been putting in this year comes into place this week and so that's a lot of really exciting for us and the team. Well, you know, I think for, for us in Butler County, where, where I live, we were so excited last year when we heard your name announced as being a part of the officer team. As you reflect back on your FFA experience from a chapter perspective first, what enticed you to be where you're at today and how is that going to influence your future? Um, you know, I think really what made me decide to run for state office was an encounter I had with a state officer as a young member and I sat in this classroom and we did a workshop um, and I just remember feeling like th this is amazing, like I loved what we were doing, I loved how the state officer included everybody in the class and I looked at it and I was like, this is something I want to do. And so as a freshman in high school, we created goals in, on a handprint during that workshop and the goal I put on that handprint was to be a state officer. And as I continued um, through high school, it became more about wanting to serve the members and giving back to an organization who had given so much to me. And you get to do your retiring address today. Yes, I do. I'm really excited. So my retiring address is this first session at 9 a.m. entitled Three Little Letters, so I'm super excited. Can you tell us what those three little letters are? Nope. <laughs> Can't give the secret away yet, just yet. We asked Amanda yesterday about what the theme of RISE meant to her and the team, but I want to get your perspective as well on that, of this year's theme, RISE. What's it mean to you? So um, we chose rise because it's something that a lot of people can relate to, whether it be you want to rise to be your best self, you're rising through a tough time, whatever it is, it can be taken in a lot of different ways. And so we wanted members to be able to take that and use it the way it was best fit for them. Help us understand, we've talked about all the work that goes into this, but how long have you all been preparing for this moment here for these three days? You know, preparation really starts when we're elected. You start doing things like preparing for workshops, you learn about public speaking, um, connecting with members, that sort of thing. Um, and then we really start convention prep starting in about December before we go on Christmas break. And then we hit it really hard starting back in February, um, writing scripts, uh, retiring addresses, things like that. You have everything memorized up on stage, which is impressive. Folks think, oh, they've got to have some <laughs> teleprompter. Maybe, no, you guys are doing it by heart. It's all memorized, so that takes, it takes some time, but we're excited. So what's the future going to hold for you as you wrap up your time as a Nebraska State FFA officer? Yeah, so I'm an animal science major right now. I'm excited to go home and work in the vet clinic in David City this summer and spend some time there. I've been doing that for four years, so I get to do that again. And then next semester, I'll be continuing my animal science classes and preparing for vet school. I'm sure Doc will keep you very busy now with two, two different vet clinics going. Yes, he will. <laughs> wonderful. Well, congratulations and thanks for such a wonderful year that you've given. And, and Butler County is pretty darn proud. Thank you. Brooke Bell serving as Nebraska FFA State Vice President. That'll wrap up this morning's broadcast here inside Pinnacle Bank Arena as we're just about ready to get underway with session number two. Susan, final thoughts? I am really excited. I get to help judge the proficiency award on contestants later on today. So get to sit and speak to some great FFAers about projects that they've been working on, really some of them since before they hit their freshman year of high school. A lot of exciting things going on today. We'll look forward to seeing you on our next broadcast.